This is a motorcycle starter motor used for electric starting of the engine, and it's very similar across most motorcycle models. This is the simplest type. The most common issue with this kind of starter motor is worn out brushes, which need to be replaced when that happens. In this case, the brushes were recently replaced, so we'll only open the starter motor and clean the contacts. First, we remove these two long bolts that hold the entire starter together. Next, we remove the brush holder cover. Then we remove the other cover that holds the rotor. Carefully pull out the rotor as the brushes are pressed against the commutator. The commutator consists of small copper plates that supply current to the rotor windings by making contact with the brushes. In this case, the two brushes you see going into the stator are insulated from the housing and receive plus 12 volts through this screw. The other two brushes, which are connected to the brush holder, receive zero voltage, also known as ground or negative, directly from the housing. We'll clean the commutator contacts with a fine file and then with fine sandpaper. After that, we'll use a multimeter to check if all the connectors have proper continuity. It's worth noting that the brushes in this model are replaced by soldering. Now, we just need to reassemble the starter motor in reverse order. When reinserting the rotor, it's helpful to have someone assist you, since the brushes are under spring tension pressing them against the commutator contacts. Thank you, and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this or if you have your own method. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.